Hey friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 8th video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to map learn or data store to ESX host. So let's have some idea about my demo environment. So as previously in my demo environment I am using 5 virtual machines. The first one is Win2K8 DC01 which is my Active Directory server. I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server. You can check out from here. This is my Active Directory server. If you go to Server Manager, you are able to find uh, I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server. Here you can see Active Directory and DNS is installed on this server. And the second one is our vCenters-01, which is our vCenter server. You can see I have installed vCenter server on this machine. I also have vSpare web client and vSpare uh, client on this machine. And I have logged in with my vSpare vSphere web client on the server so the next one is 2 is ESX host 01 and ESX host 02 which is here you can see ESX1 ESX i 01 and ESX i 02 here so and the last is our open file server which provides uh, which is providing iSCSI target uh, for a uh, uh, data store and learns so Let's begin. So in last video, I have created uh, in last video, second last video, I have installed open file and created ISKC target. And last video, I have created, you can say I have created a multi-pathing network infrastructure for our both, both uh, ESX host. So I have logged in on my v, uh, vSphere web client. Click on host and cluster. And here is my cluster. Uh, here is my data center, which is India. So I'm going to map the uh, disk which we have created in our last video in my ESX01 first. So on ESX01, I'm going to click on manage then storage. You can see the network which we have created on our last video for, for ISCSI connections. So here it is and now So on a storage, I have few uh, storage uh, storage adapter is connected with my uh, ES ESXi uh, for open filer. I am going to initiate uh, one add one software ISCSI initiator. Click on plus button here. You can see here is software ISCSI adapter. So I'm going to click on it. So here is new software ISCSI adapter will be added to the list after you has been added. The it's basically recommended to rescan all the adapters. So click OK. So here you can see changing software internet ISCSI. So it's adding the software ISCSI initiator. You can see it's going to refresh now. So you can see open firewall port, open fire change software, ISCSI all done successfully. So just to scroll down and we have uh, ISCSI software adapter here. You can see online. So first thing we need to configure here, which is uh, under the devices. You can see no device, no path mention. So the first thing we need to identify is target under the target we have dynamic and static so I'm going to just add dynamic click add and I'm going to put my open file server IP address here so it's 192.168.1.20 so I'm going to put the server IP here 192.168.1.20 and in here is setting from parent click ok so adding ISCC in initiator target so due to recent configuration changes a rescan for all storage adapter is recommended so we'll do the rescan so close here you can see ISCC server is added here and one more thing network port binding we need to add, add network port binding 
for the ESX one to like uh, to communicate with the ISKC server so I am going to add the both port here so one kernel port added ISKC 01 and I am going to add second VK VMK kernel port so click here and we have successfully added the both and now what I am going to do I am going to run rescan so you can see rescanning HBA and here you can find we have all the three discs available on my ESX102 zero 01 sorry and all the discs are available and now we can go ahead to create data store here so I'm going to click on storage device here you can see we have a like capacity you can see all the three discs are here so just go to related objects and data store we have only one data store added to ESX host which is our uh, inst installed media actually so we can rename it like local storage ESXi01 and click ok so we have renamed this data store as a local a local storage on ESX i01 so I am going to add new data store here the first data store and we will get the detail location I have to select our ISKC server go ahead click next and here we have two option VMFS and uh, create an FS data store to an FS here over the network so I, I want to create create a VMSF uh, data store on discord learn so click enter and we have all the three option I am going to sort it by LAN so I am going to add zero LAN first click next and I am going to format that and VMFS5 because I don't want some backup uh, backward compatibility on my ESX host you can see the ESX and ESX host version earlier than 5.0 so I don't want to do that click on next and we have partition information you can select the partition whatever you want to create a partition so I'm going to use the full disk here so click next and click on finish so creating VMFS data store we have our first data store and I am going to rename it like learn zero Hit ok I am going to add the second LAN number 1 click next ESX source click next VMFS 5 click next and you can also rename from here so I am going to type here LAN LAN 1 and go ahead and select LAN 1 click next and VMS, VMFS 5 next use the all this storage click next and click on fairness so we have added LAN 0 and LAN 1 on our ESX 1 and now I am going to add my last LAN here new data store ESX host is selected click next VMFS and data store is LAN 2 click next and we need to select the LAN click next VMFS 5 and use the all this storage and click finish so we have added all three disks which is coming from ISKC as a LAN as a data store in our ESX1 
so I'm going to map this all our disk here uh, all the three disks on our ESX i02 but on ESX02 we have already formatted this learn in uh, VMFS for uh, format so it does not require formatting on our ESX02 so just we need to identify uh, define the ISGC server and we need to uh, add the VMFS storage so first thing I am going to rename this one rename like local storage ESX I02 click OK and now I'm going to click on manage on a storage click on storage adapter and we need to add a s software ISCC adapter here so click OK yes we know we need to create a refresh the storage box so you can see ISKC adapter is installed and now I'm going to click on target and define the target so 192.168.1.20 port number leave the default click OK so you can see the ISKC server is added go to network port binding we need to add the network <laughs> port here so ISCSI is 1 and add ISCSI 2 here and we are done we just need to refresh now so click on refresh rescanning HBA so now we are able to find all the three disks on ESX02 as well as So go a little bit down and here you can see all the disk is available and if you go to path you can identify all the uh, we have enabled the multi path that's why we are getting total six path here per disk one path one two three four five and six so we are good to go and if we go now on related object and data store we just need to refresh here we just need to need to wait for a few seconds and just refresh again and now you are able to see all the learns are mapped to our ESX02 as well as so we are done with the activity mapping the ISCSI target and mapping the ISCSI uh, disk and learns from to our ESX host so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can uh, drop me a mail on my given mail ID. thank you once again bye bye